Air travel operations at East Africa's busiest airport, the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, for the fourth day remained to be paralyzed following the Kenya Airways pilot strike. In a move that may prove a reprieve for passengers, the Employment and Labor Relations Court has directed striking Kenya pilots to call off the industrial action and resume work on Wednesday at 6 a.m. I will be looking at the file to see what are the issues that have been raised. And uh, for the time being, the pilots are safe. You are not in jail. <laughs> in a ruling delivered on Tuesday by Lady Justice Anna Ngibuini Maure, the Kenya Airways Management has also been asked to allow the pilots execute their duties without being harassed or disciplinary action pending determination of the matter. I will retreat and look at the file, but at the same time, I have asked your councils and the pilots and KQ to talk. Because if we don't talk, we can't get anywhere. Both parties in the case, the Kenya Airline Pilots Association CALPA and the Kenya Airways Management, have been directed to refrain from prosecuting the matter in public. In its submission to the court, KQ1 CALPA officials held accountable for the loss occasioned by the strike at the airline. CALPA, on its part, through its lawyers Peter Kimani and Levi Kariki, said there had been no structure to enable deliberations between them and the Kenya Airways to facilitate a faster resolution to the ongoing industrial strike. My lady, the orders are in passage of the petitioner's application for contempt that is dated the 6th of November 2022. My lady, the orders seek to hold the officials of the rest of them in contempt of this court for failure to comply with the court orders of 31st October 2022. This comes a day after the Kenya Airways in a notice advertised the position of a first officer to support the pilot in command so as to ensure the aircraft is operated per the conditions laid down in the airline's operation manual. The national carrier saying 23 pilots were available in executing their duties, but CALPA officials were hesitant in negotiating and even they increased their demands. Davis Maria, Ebro News.